you may not know the name York Edwards, but if you've ever visited a Canadian provincial park, you know his work. Veronica Cooper brings us the story. Here we are, Goldstream Park, one of the jewels of southern Vancouver Island, you know, protected forever by the province uh, in the care of the people. It's one of hundreds of provincial parks across this province. Millions of folks just drive past all of these places every day in their cars. People didn't get what parks were about, that they saw them as wallpaper. And so in the 1950s, as the park system in British Columbia was expanding, this young guy who came out here to do his master's research at UBC from Ontario, a guy who was just a goofy teenage birder and naturalist, a guy named Ralph York Edwards, got a job in BC Forest Service and was drawn to parks. Edwards felt that if the province was investing money to protect these wild spaces, the public should know more about them. It took oh, maybe a decade for him to convince the uh, people who ran parks to give him a chance to do something where he could engage people in these wonderful places. And finally, in 1957, the park manager said, OK, do it in Manning Park. He found two mildewed tents, and he got stuff from the dump in Princeton, and they created a nature house with two tents and a couple hundred dollars. And from that humble beginning, the world of park interpretation began in BC. There's eagle nests up in these big Douglas firs here. Edwards, who lived in Victoria, also begged parks to hire park interpreters and stressed that they must be passionate about the outdoors to light that passion in the public. It might be getting people on their hands and knees or looking up into the sky with binoculars, but showing was really an important part of things. And this one, you can see a white head in the tree across the way. Rick Cool worked with Edwards at the Royal BC Museum, and now he has co-authored a book honoring this important Canadian. So we will all know the name York Edwards. Rob Cannings and I pitched this book to the Royal BC Museum. It didn't take them long to say yes. The objects, the thing, the writings of York Edwards will be available at the Royal BC Museum and on their website in May. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia's stories together.